economic boom could be happening in Lorraine soon, and it could also add hundreds of jobs for a once thriving steel town. And News 5's Paul Kiska has been looking into the news, and Paul, it comes after massive layoffs in recent years. That's right, Frank. Finally, some good news out here in the city of Lorraine. However, Republic still hasn't said exactly how many workers they'll call back, but the hope is it's in the hundreds. Man, when I got the news, when I heard about it, yeah, that's great. I feel good about it. Mario Kirk owns the red carpet haircutting salon in downtown Lorraine. Kirk told me steelworker jobs coming back would be welcome news for local businesses. Jobs coming back, guys got money, you know, come get haircuts, take care of their family, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's great. Three years ago, Lorraine Steel Plants laid off a thousand workers. Those job losses were a big blow to the city's economy, leaving out of job workers worried about losing their homes. When a union job gets lost, the odds are the home gets foreclosed on. That affects everyone in that neighborhood. Much of the Republic Steel Plant was closed. Now, Republic announced a plan to restart Blast Furnace 4 and possibly a second one to produce iron used in the steel making process. Union leaders say, according to their collective bargaining agreement, laid off workers would be the first to be hired back. We have a number of people that are laid off and are, are subject to recall. You know, anything that would restart start the blast furnace would bring work to our members and hopefully uh, give another venture for Republic Steel would be would be welcome news to the steel workers. When the layoffs hit, Lorraine lost a million dollars a year in tax revenue. That caused layoffs to the fire department. We're really excited that uh, you know steel manufacturing is coming back uh, to the city of Lorraine. Lorraine Mayor Chase Rittenauer told me today Republic's plan is thrilling news for the city. To have the jobs out there um, not to mention the disposable income, patronizing uh, City of Lorraine establishments. It, it's all good from what it's going to mean for families, what it's going to mean for other business in the community. Certainly it will help, help the income tax base for the city as well. And the rest of that plant is expected to open by the end of this year. Live in Lorraine, Paul Kiska, News 5.